photograph in the flyer. His own words to the police and the comments on his blog indicate his state of mind. According to the Crown, or sorry, correction, he is unable to avail himself of the defense of religious belief in section 319 sub 3 sub b of the criminal code because the flyers, the, the contents of the flyer disclose his true hateful beliefs. Respectfully, I have a reasonable doubt that Mr. Wetcott intended to promote hatred. The offense imports a stringent standard of mens rea. And considering the minimal impairment aspect of the Oaks test, Chief Justice Dixon stated in Keekstra, quote, this stringent standard of mens rea is an invaluable means of limiting the incursion of three, section 319 sub 2 into the realm of acceptable, although perhaps offensive and controversial expression. It is clear that the word willfully imports a difficult burden for the Crown to meet, and in doing so serves to minimize the impairment of freedom of expression, end of quote. Mr. Wetcott can only be found guilty of willful promotion of hatred if his conscious purpose was to promote hatred against gay men, and that he foresaw that the promotion of hatred against gay men was certain or morally certain to result from the distribution of the flyer. His goal must have been the intentional promotion of hatred against gay men. R versus Pizanga and DeRoche, decision of the Ontario Court of Appeal. Willful blindness will not satisfy the stringent mens rea requirement. Correction, willful blindness will satisfy the stringent mens rea requirement, but recklessness as to the consequences of distributing the flyer will not. That's also from R versus Harding. When a communication promotes hatred, the trier of fact can infer that the accused intended to promote hatred, according to R versus Keekstra. The most powerful evidence of Mr. Wetcott's intent would be the flyer if I were not left with the reasonable doubt that the flyer promotes hatred. Beyond the flyer, the other evidence of Mr. Wetcott's intent does not persuade me beyond a reasonable doubt that he intended to promote hatred. Mr. Wetcott blogged about his foray into the pride parade. Crown argued that it argues that his words on the blog are evidence of his state of mind. Mr. Wetcott 